guys, today I'm going to talk about the class pack and the fact that there's a tremendous amount of value you can find in the class pack. I ordered six of them. I didn't know that five of them came in case, otherwise I would just ordered five cases, 25 of them, but they didn't have any left. Uh, this you can get for under $24. I believe MSRP is $30, which is still is a pretty good deal in my opinion. What you have is you have two cards. You have Coco, which is a very good speculation right now. Uh, Abzin Company is a deck. Uh, the last time I looked at Coco's price, it was $14 TCG player lows. That meant the lowest person selling it was $14, and that does not include shipping. Now, Windswept Heath is about $10 TCG player lows. So when you combine the both, you get $24. This costs $24. The other, you know... 118 cards are free. What do you get? You get Rhino, you get some foils, you get uh, a lot of really good stuff. I think Anna Fezzer is definitely one of my favorite cards in the actual set. And you get her as well. Not the uh, Anna Fezzer the foremost, but the uh, tree, the, the tree, the, the tree Anna Fezzer version. Anyway, it's a tremendous value. Um, and the, now the fact that the class packs are not being made anymore, that signals to me it will not be a continuous flow of value anymore in these pre-established decks, these intro decks. Uh, intro decks are notorious, notorious for not having uh, the value that a class pack. I mean, this is the first time we got a class pack that was actually worthing. Oh, Dramoka's Command is also in this class pack, uh, worth any money. You could take this class pack, buy four of them, which is what I did, and two of them are going to Dan, and then you know from that point on. You can just take the class pack, make a deck, and go to GB Houston and see how you do with it. Uh, you would have to add a few other cards, but you have your Windswept, you have your Rhinos, you have your um, Land, your Tri-Land, you have your... I mean, the only card that's really missing from this um, is probably Gideon. So if you got some Gideons, you just threw the Gideons in and you have a feasible deck for under 100 bucks, uh, minus the Gideons. So class packs definitely worth the buy, especially since they are not going to make any more. Uh, that is a signal to me that like whenever like I'm a collector and whenever they're signaling to me that like they're not going to make any more of this certain type, it's always the last one. So Armed and Dangerous is such a unique uh, class pack because it's the only one with actual value in it and it's the last one of its kind. So if you're looking for a really good intro type of deck, Armed and Dangerous I mean, it has a value, it's actually fun to play with, and you can combine it to act to make a, like a pseudo mono deck. I mean, you do have your Cocos, you have your Rhinos, you have um, Anafeza. You, it's easy to get into modern if you buy four of these. And when I'm thinking of a $100 investment in modern, uh, that's pretty much one Misty Rainforest. Maybe two Misty Rainforests, right? So yeah, it's definitely a great investment from my point of view, modern, even modern-wise. Um, I would buy four of them and try to make a deck with it. Anyway, bye guys.